Good morning friends. Welcome back to Pandika's Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss about escape sequence or backslash character constants. I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. We have several escape sequence such as audible bell, backspace, new line, form feed, carries written, single quote, double quote, backslash, all these things we will discuss one by one in detail. Okay. So coming to the audible bell, you will use the backslash A. For the backspace, you will use the backslash B. For a form feed, you will use backslash F. For a new line, you will use backslash N. For a carries written, you will use backslash R. For a horizontal tab, you will use backslash T. For a vertical tab, you will use backslash V. For a single quote, you will use backslash single quote. For a double quote, you will use backslash double quote. For a backslash, if you want to print backslash, then you have to write backslash backslash. So this is about the a constant and the corresponding medium. Now first let me discuss what is the audible bell. Now let's take that you are writing a statement called printf welcome to Pernika tutorials. Okay. In a C program you are writing welcome to Pernika tutorials and then you have written backslash a and then you have ended with a semicolon. If you are writing such statement and you are writing the backslash a, then what will happen in the output when it is printing? After printing the welcome to Pernika tutorials, it will give you a sound which will stay for very very small amount of time. But after printing, it will give you a, a bell sound. Okay, so this is about the audible bell. Now you can ask me what is this backspace? Now, in the same example, I will discuss for you, okay. Now, if I write backslash B here, when the output is printing, it will print the entire thing, welcome to Pernika tutorials, okay. Everything it will print and the output will be depend on the compiler what you are using. Based on the compiler, the output will vary. But whatever the compiler I am using, it will give the output as welcome to Pernika tutorials and it will, the cursor will pointing to the last character. Is it clear? If I does not use backslash B, then it will print the welcome to Pernika tutorials and it will point to the next one. Okay, the cursor, the where the cursor is pointing, it is it will point to this one if you does not use backslash b. If you are using the backslash b, it will point here. But some compilers, what it will do is that it will remove the CS and it will stay here. Okay, are you able to understand? Now you can ask me one thing. Sir, I have written welcome to Pernika tutorials. Instead of using single backslash b, I am using two backslash b. Then what will happen? For first backslash b the cursor will point here, for the second backslash it will point here. So finally it will print welcome to Pernika tutorials and the cursor will be pointing to here. If you are using some other compiler it will remove this l and s. Is it clear? So I want to tell you one point is that this backslash b the output will vary based on what compiler you are using. Okay. Now coming to the form feed. The form feed you will use backslash f. Okay, now it will print welcome Pernika tutorials and it will give you some character here, some unknown character it will give. But what is the purpose of this form feed is that you have written a very lengthy C program. It consists of thousand lines. When you are printing it, you cannot print it in a single piece. Am I right? Now let's take that you have written hundred lines of the C code. Now after these hundred lines, you want to whatever the statements are there, you want to print them in the next page. Is it clear? You want to print them in the next page, then you can use backslash f. So whatever the statements are there, after this printf, all these statements will be printed in another page. Okay, so this is about the form feed. 
Now let me discuss about the new line character which is backslash n. Okay. If you write welcome Pernica tutorials backslash n, then it will print the entire output and the cursor will be pointing to the next line. Okay. Let me discuss with a simple example. You have written int a is equal to 3, b is equal to 4. See, I am not writing the entire syntax. I am writing only what are the statements which will be helpful for me to understand the concept for you. Okay. So, int a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 4. If you write print of percentage d, percentage d, a comma b value. Then if you see the output, it will print it as 3, 4. It will not even give any space between the 3 and 4. Okay. Then lot of students will be thinking that as a beginners, if you are middle level or you are expert, you can understand that it, A value is 3 and B value is 4 is printing. But as you are a beginner, you will think that I have given A value as 3, B value is 4 and I am asking to print it. So, it should print it as 3 and 4, but it is printing as 34. So, lot of students will ask this doubt, sir, it is printing 34. What happened to my program? So, if you want the output in a proper way, okay, then what you can do is that you can write print of percentage d backslash n percentage d a comma b then what will happen a value 3 will be printed in the new line after printing the 3 it will go to the new line and whatever it is there it will print so it will print it as 3 and 4 so this is the way the use of the backslash n so after printing it it will go to the new line okay is it clear so now let me discuss about the carries return. Okay. And I request everyone, please try executing this one in your computer and you can see these outputs. Okay. If you are a beginner, I request everyone to practice these concepts after watching my video. Okay. Now let me discuss about backslash r. If you are writing backslash r here, which is a carries return. Okay. Then what will happen? It will print welcome, Pernica, welcome to Pernica tutorials and the cursor will be pointing to the first character. Is it clear? If you does not write backslash R, the cursor will be pointing after S. Yes. But if you are writing backslash R, the cursor will be pointing to the first character. Okay. So this is about backslash R. And you know what is a horizontal tab? You are giving a tab space, you know, horizontally. If you are giving vertical tab, you are giving a space, hot tab space, okay, tab amount of space. If you want to see what is the tab space, you can open the notepad or word file and you please press tab. You can see that the cursor will go after certain amount of space. Is it clear? If it is here, it will go up to here. So it will take a tab space. So if it is horizontal tab, it will take the tab space in horizontally if you are using the vertical tab backslash v it will take tab space vertically and now let me discuss what is this single quote okay now let's take that i want to display the output as welcome to pernica tutorials but i want to highlight my pernica tutorials channel little bit more if i simply write welcome to pernica tutorials it will if i'm using backslash r whatever it is Okay, it will print in a single line, but I want to highlight my Pernica tutorials in little bit. I want to print like this, welcome to Pernica tutorials, means within the single quotation, I want this output. Then, how can you change it? Then what is the changes you have to do is that you have to use a backslash, a single quote, a backslash, single quote. Then, it will display the output as welcome to single quote Pernica total single, again single quote. So it will be highlighted within the single quotation. So this is the use of the using single quotation. Now you can ask me, sir, without using this backslash single quote, I will just write like this single quote, single quote, what will happen? I want welcome to Pernica tutorials. Why should I use the single quote? I will simply write welcome to single quote Pernica tutorials and I will end with a double quotes closed brace and semicolon then it will give an error for you so if you want the output like this you should use the backslash single quote backslash single quote i hope it is clear similarly if you want double quotation i want to highlight further i want to 
enclosed within the double quotation. Then what I will do is that I will write the backslash double quotes, backslash double quotes. So then the output will be printed as welcome to double quotes, Parnika tutorials double quotes. So this is the way we will print the output within the double quotes. If you want backslash itself, you want welcome to backslash Parnika tutorials, then you will write like this. In the printf, you will write backslash backslash. Okay, one is for this, it is an escape character to represent that it is an escape character and you want to print a double means backslash. So, you have to write the escape sequence backslash and you want again the a backslash symbol. So, you are writing like this. So, it will print the output as welcome to backslash Pernika tutorials. Even if you want a null value, you should write backslash zero. So, this is for the null value. So, I hope you have understood various escape sequence and how to use them. If you still have any doubts after executing them, if you are getting any different output, please ask me in the comment session. I will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. Please remember this point, few of them will be depend on what compiler you are using. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.